I'm putting the first layer of my floor insulation down today. So uh, it's recycled glass foam aggregate or foam glass or glass foam aggregate. It's basically recycled glass um, and they heat it up and blow air through it and then they crush it up into basically look what looks like gravel or hardcore. Um, so the good thing about this material is uh, you compact it and it gives you a um, it gives you a, a structure, it's your floor structure and your insulation and your damp proof layer because water won't wick up through it. So that's your that's your damp proof and it's your insulation and it's your structure. So you once you've compacted it, you can build off that. You don't need any other uh, as long as you've got you know you're in hardcore compacted hardcore underneath. So I put one layer down. It's about 150 mil, maybe a bit more, and I'm going to compact that and then put another layer down and I'm coming up to the top of these buttons. This button is really just to give me a guide. Uh, and these ones um, are basically, I'm, I'm, I'm hempcreting in these gaps because behind that damp proof membrane is just the brickwork. So they're basically just um, sort of give me a, an area to insulate. just a case of bringing it in and spreading it out roughly level before before you whack a plate it Well, I've compacted this end. Um, you can hear, if I go and tread on the uncompacted bit, you can hear the difference. So this is uncompacted. And it's sort of sinking it like a ball pond. And then the compacted. It's all nice and flat. So it's probably gone down at about an inch, maybe a bit less. So I've got 10 inches in there and maybe it's gone down half an inch to an inch. But it's all locked in nice and tightly. Um, the thing you've got to watch is uh, if you start dragging stuff across that now, materials and things, it, uh, it will just come up because it's so light. And if you're doing a um, geotextile membrane on top, which I will be, the way to do it is to roll the membrane out along the middle and then fold it outwards so you're not dragging it because if you, even if you drag it across this it will just pull all these up. So I'm going to compact the rest of it. I've got my second layer of the glass foam aggregate down and it's all nice and compacted. I've done it in two layers um, because I have 250 mil of this stuff down, it's about 10 inches which is the maximum you want to compact in one go. You, you have to get a certain amount of compaction, otherwise it's not structural. You can't, it's not strong enough to build on. So rather than, rather than that, I did it in two layers because I'd rather have it nice and compact. And also um, I find it a lot easier to get it level in two layers. So you compact one layer level and then compact the next layer. If you put one big layer down, 
it's harder to get it nice and level. So I, I think it's a better job overall doing it in two layers. Um, on top of this, you could put a earth floor, you could put a limecrete screed, um, you know, lots of different things. But in here, I'm having a, a timber floor, a solid timber from a local a cedar tree that fell down locally, and I've had sawn up has been seasoning in my garden for a while. So I'm going to put um, small timbers going across. They're not really structural. They'll just be they'll be bearing on the foam glass aggregate. And I'll have hemp blocks in between, so the hemp blocks another layer of insulation. Um, it's a bit of a strange way of doing it, but um, I want the wooden floor, and, I, and you know it's not very good to screw a wooden floor to a screen. I don't want to glue it, so I'd rather just put the wooden the wooden timbers going across, which will be on a bit of mortar bearing on this slab. And obviously, you'll see how I do that in the next few pictures. But if I was doing um, an earth floor or some sort of solid floor, tiles or something, you could just put a hempcrete screed or lay hempcrete blocks like, like paving stones straight onto this. Um, so you'd have like another 100 mil. Um, and then you could put your tiles or your earth floor straight on top of that. But for a wooden floor, solid wood, you really want to screw it down. So, uh, But the timbers will make it a lot easier to level it anyway. So I've got them on the van, I'm about to get them off, and away we go. Oh, I should say actually, before I put those down, I'm gonna roll out a geotextile membrane over all of this. And what the geotextile does is it stops all the dirt and stuff going into this layer of insulation. You don't wanna fill that full of dirt and dust and stuff. Otherwise, you're not gonna have as good insulation as you thought you had. And it also just spreads the load help spread the load and it also actually when you're walking across it it stops all these flicking up but uh... and here's the finished floor just need the um, timber on top which will screw to these battens which are the full thickness of the block 80 mil and it's all bearing on a it's all bearing on um, lime mortar there's no mortar between the blocks but the um, they're all bearing on lime mortar. Um, a bit of mess there from my wall I've been doing. So yeah, it's it's absolutely solid. It's worked really well, um, and it means I can put my um, solid timber floor on top. As I say, screw to these. Uh, the benefit of having the hemp between them, the hemp blocks, is that it's solid. And my boards, the, the hemp blocks are solid, and my boards aren't tongue and groove. They're literally a tree that's come down locally that I'm, I've got sawn up. So I'll plank it, uh, as in cut it into planks, which will go across, but I won't tongue and groove it. So if you, if you don't have a tongue and groove, the boards can, you know, the separate boards can sort of flex when you walk on them. But obviously with a solid insulation these hemp blocks underneath they're not going to do that so I don't need to tongue and groove the boards which is a massive bonus for me um, I don't really have the time to do that so yeah as I say before the um, you could have put earth screed under floor heating pipes you could have put a lime screed um, could have put cob blocks you know there's lots of other lots of natural material floors that you could put on that um, you could have done a hempcrete screed even but um, this is the way I went for it. But the glass foam aggregate is a really uh, great material to use in conjunction with natural builds. So um, yeah, I'll uh, I'll do update some more videos when I've got some more of the walls done. Cheers.